If a deposit of $3,000 is invested in an account paying 5% compounded weekly, how long will it take to double in value? Again, this is a compound interest formula, and since I see that it's compounded a specific number of times per year, in this case it's compounded weekly, that tells me that I will use the standard formula. So A is equal to P by 1 plus R over N to the NT. Reading through the problem, a deposit of $3,000, that's my initial value, is invested in an account paying 5%, so R is 0 0.05. Compounded weekly, N is 52. How long will it take? T is unknown to double in value. In the end, we need $6,000. So there's the appropriate substitutions, and now I need to solve the equation. Notice that in this equation, the variable T is in an exponent. So this is an exponential equation, and we will need to use logarithms to solve it. So the first thing I need to do is isolate the exponential. And to do that, I'll divide by 3,000. So I have 2 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.05 over 52 to the 52t. Now, that 1 plus 0 0.05 over 52, let's calculate that. 1 plus 0 0.05 over 52 is 1.00096.1538. So 2 is equal to 1.00096.1538 raised to the 52t. So notice that this is, uh, that I can con easily convert this to a logarithmic form. Log base 1.00096.1538 of 2 is equal to 52t. Let's use the change of base rule. Log 2 over log 1.00096.1538 is equal to 52t. And I can isolate t now by dividing through both sides of the equation by 52. All right, so then t would be equal to log 2 over log 1.00096.1538. That all divided by 52. Now we have to be careful how we input that in the calculator, of course. So open quantity log 2. Close the quantity on the logarithm. Divide by logarithm 1.00096.1538. Close the logarithm. Close the numerator. Divide by 52. And we have 13.87 approximately. is approximately 13.87, so that's about 14. All right, so the conclusion is that it will take about 14 years for the account to double in value.